what's up everybody welcome back to the channel i'm just going to do a little brief tutorial here uh, if anybody's having any issues starting virtual desktop i have two monitors here so i gotta drag it over here um if anybody's having any trouble starting virtual desktop i found a solution uh, i've been pretty much going on youtube and all over the internet searching for an answer and no one had any viable solutions at least any solutions that didn't uh, or that did work rather so uh, I found a solution to get the virtual desktop running and it really has to do with some of the services or the required services um, it has a startup and if the prerequisites aren't there in terms of services the application won't run. Let me drag this back to my other monitor. All right, so yeah, uh, what I'm going to do is, um, what you have to do is go to MS Config, type in MS Config, and run as administrator. Uh, what I did actually, I put it into my taskbar, so um, I can basically access it very quickly whenever I need it because uh, with my with my computer issues I it seems like uh, MS config is uh, really uh, it's it's something that I, I have to go to a lot and uh, troubleshoot so yeah it definitely definitely works um, it has to do with basically uh, services and things like that and drivers loading and I don't know Anyways, uh, go to system config, uh, configuration, and I would, or what I do is I go to services, and what you want to do is you want to click hide all services, and then disable all. After that, you disable all. What you want to do is you want to tick on to anything that says Intel. Hit apply. And then hit okay i'm not going to do it by the way because I, I i already did it and i just don't feel like doing it anymore so uh yeah as you can see this virtual desktop on the bottom here it's running but hit apply hit okay and then your system will completely restart with just the base services that you need with microsoft and uh the intel the reason why you have to check the boxes with Intel is because then you won't be able to access certain things. Um, I don't know. I did that before. I made a fatal mistake. I did that before, and I I couldn't even input my passcode or anything just against my computer. It was it was a huge hassle. I forgot how I basically normalized everything. But all right. Um, after you do that, you restart your computer. You should have just basic services, and what you want to do is then you go back. See, I have it on my taskbar already and make sure that normal startup is clicked and then you just hit apply okay and then your computer your pc will restart over again and after that uh yeah go log into steam and hit launch for me it worked it worked perfectly so i'm gonna click onto it right now just to show you here you go so it works um yeah that's really about it so yeah i hope you found this brief tutorial helpful if you did give it a thumbs up smash that like and uh remember to subscribe all right take care everybody and i'll see y'all in the next video Bye bye